Do you have questions on how to properly care for your pet? When is the right time to get your pet spayed or neutered? Or maybe you're looking for a place for your pet to stay while you go on vacation. Mapleview Animal Hospital. Dr. Bader from Mapleview Animal Hospital gives you great advice for your pets. Mapleview Animal Hospital on Panther Drive at the corner of Riley and 136th on Holland's North Side. And on the web at mapleviewanimalhospital.net. Mapleview Animal Hospital. They love your pet like you do in the history, we believe, of Holland, and hopefully in your lives as well. I want to say three things today. Well, actually, there's three things we expect of you today. One is to have fun. Please eat the food. The second is to learn, and I'm going to focus on that in a minute. And the third is there's a competition going on right tonight. We have council members that are competing with each other, plus the Board and Public Works. So the, the, we need you to take bags before you leave. And council members, that's where you'll be when everyone's leaving, making sure they take bags enough for their neighborhood, and we'll see which one. I want to tell you uh, a little bit uh, personally about this. These are the 53 communities that are competing for this prize. And you're going to learn from the founders here shortly, so I'll keep that short. But um, you'll see Oberlin, Ohio. Well, that's where I grew up. I was part of their environmental activities back then. I feel like, gosh, they're there partly because of what I did. Montpelier, Vermont. That was a community I served. Doggone it. I helped write their master plan. We talked about these things, and now I'm competing against them. Uh, we've got people I know in, um, in South Haven, um, excuse me, uh, or, uh, it's South Burlington, and Waterbury, Vermont. And, and, but guess what? We, they're on the coast. The, the California communities are like, you know, you know how they are. <laughs> but we have a huge advantage. We're in the Midwest. We don't do anything unusual. The main point, we like to save money. So that's the point we want to share with your neighbors. Next slide. So energy efficiency is the most important source of energy. If we save energy, DBW will sell it to somebody. And that's pretty good for us. It's also clean energy. BBW is going to be doing the natural gas power plant, and that's a lot better than coal power. So uh, by saving it, we, we create other source uh, availability. Uh, the challenge here is to come up with a, a plan, as I showed you, that's innovative, replicable, and we can go to scale. Uh, innovative, we know we are. We're world class. Replicable, uh, you'll see boots on the ground. It's what we're adopting many competitions, and you'll see all that in the bags. I think that'll make a difference. And scalable, that's where the $5 million prize will come in. As Mayor Dexter said, in a couple of years, we'll be here or some similar place celebrating our win, and we will have a check for $5 million. That check, we believe, will go into the, uh, a new entity called the Holland Energy Trust, which will be used to uh, be a revolving loan fund. It'll create more we can win. We've got a head start. The whole point of our community energy plan is to ensure competitive economic, um, economic competitiveness, provide reliable, affordable energy, and protect the environment. So we will begin with learning more tonight. Be energy prize wise, and we have a video to show you. Well, um, we trust that the weather in Washington is a wee bit nicer than what we're experiencing here in West Michigan. Uh, we're getting our first snow, and I don't suspect you are. Not yet, no. no. <laughs> Pleasant weather here. Well, we'll send it your way. Um, to, to the audience here, uh, Dr. Slakey has written uh, a really wonderful book that this is the city manager's copy. It's called To the Last Breath, um, a memoir of going to extremes. Dr. Slakey, I think you're the only person alive, as I understand it, to have uh, scaled the highest peak of every continent as well as surf every ocean. Is, is yeah, I'm the only person who have done that. I'm, I'm probably the only crazy person who have done that, too. That's right. <laughs> that's, that's fantastic. And you should know, and one of the members of our city council is a librarian, and you should know, uh, Bob, that uh, Ryan has devoured this book in substantial ways. He's got Oh, I'm happy to, but let me say one thing first. You, know, you, you had said it takes a team to do what you guys are doing in Holland. It takes a team to do the Georgetown University Energy Prize, and I have two people here today. One is your community liaison, Catherine Huber, and also the real muscle behind the prize, the hardest working guy. That was just an idea. 
it's, uh, it's all of you, all of you here today. It's what you're gonna be doing over the next two years that make it real, and that's what makes the Energy Prize meaningful for the nation. Well, that, that's fantastic. Um, so, will we get to see you in Holland, do you think? Or, uh, well, if we win, we certainly, you know, you're invited anytime, let's put it that way. Well, now that I've been invited to surf with you, I'll take well, you first. Well, there you go. Uh, Catherine, are we going to see you coming to Holland at all? Or uh, what's your role in this whole process? Yeah, absolutely. I am your community liaison, so I'm one of your first points of contact throughout this process. Uh, I don't know what our travel budget situation is yet, but I would love to visit if I got the opportunity. Um, actually, in fact, my roommate is from a town nearby, so you have a very good chance of me stopping by at some point. Um, so I am very excited to be working with you and have been really thrilled to read your plan and to know that you guys are doing great things. Really, are you hoping to see it come out as a result of this whole competition? So, I, you know, I have this really modest ambition. Uh, all I want to do is transform the way this country uses energy. This is a very modest ambition. Um, you know, right now we are wasting half the energy that we use in this country, and we can't afford to keep doing that. And the Georgetown University Energy Prize is trying to lay out a path to a better future for the country. And we're already seeing that happening. We're seeing it happening here today, actually, in, in your very room right now, the actions you guys have already taken. And, and one more thing is your city came up with a phrase that, that I have now used uh, all across the country. And yes, don't worry about it. I always give you guys credit when I use the phrase. And the phrase is five million plus change. Yeah, one city is going to win the five million, but we're all going to get the change. And I couldn't have said it any better than that. Change. That's what I want to accomplish with the prize. Yeah, please. Sure. Look, we have a variety of sponsors. And what we're going to do is we're going to announce them all at once. And so when we announce the towns that actually get into the semifinals, we're going to announce the full suite of sponsors at that time as well. Excellent. But I can tell you that there'll be companies that you're very familiar with. Well, and I've seen a few, uh, at least, suggestions of who might be involved, and I can tell you it, it's a group from industries, it's a group from uh, uh, agencies, it's a group of organizations. It's really a very much a cross-section of every sector you can think of. And to me, at least, uh, that has been one of the really exciting things about the competition and the whole question of conservation, because regardless of what motivates you to get to the point of conservation, whether it's saving the planet or saving in your pocketbook or some combination of both, you get to the same spot in this competition. So that's that's bigger than Major League Baseball. That's bigger than the National Football League. So uh, yeah, there's going to be some serious competition, and um, and it's friendly. It'll be a friendly competition, but winning won't come easy. And one of the things that's going to have to happen is the winning city is going to have to have the whole community involved. And it's a pleasure to see that already happening in Holland, Michigan. Dr. Slakey. Before we read the proclamation, I, I need to tell you guys a little story. Uh, a few weeks ago, I contacted Ann and, and Dave and wanted to come to Holland uh, to talk about Michigan Energy Office and the great things that the Energy Office was doing. Well, within five minutes of that conversation, I was blown away with the great things that Ann was doing and what Holland was doing. Be up there as a, as a sponsor and whatever help and support that the office could provide, we would love to, to be able to do it. So with that, I, I want to say that, that on behalf of the people of, 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 of Michigan, let it be known that it is my distinct honor to recognize the city of Holland's effort to earn $5 million in change as part of the National Georgetown University Energy Challenge. You have taken the, the challenge, and you are, you are one of only 53 communities nationwide that are working to bridge the gap between knowledge and action in home and energy efficiency. Please allow me to congratulate you for striving to create your community and throughout the state of Michigan. By providing new knowledge that can be shared and replicated, you have established as a leader in strengthening the energy capacity of the communities in our state. I am confident that Michigan will long reap the reward of your positive contribution for years to come. As we continue our work to make Michigan a better place to live, work, and raise a family, we appreciate your commitment your committed effort to improve and invest in the future of our state. On behalf of the people and communities, communities of Michigan, congratulations.
And thank you for your effort to preserve our state's resources, create new knowledge, and strengthen our economy. The technology that allows us to do that was invented here. The guy who has the patents, owns those patents, is right here in town in Holland. And we also were the home to Holland Furnace Company, which at one time was the largest furnace company. Where We heated America at one time. I mean, that's how important Holland has been to energy and technology and innovation in this country. So this competition is really kind of critical. And we need to get people going. So we get people motivated. So we're doing this competition amongst the wards. And what we're trying to find is, you know, a bunch of fun and rivalries to emerge, friendly rivalries. You know, not so much Michigan, Ohio State, or Michigan State, Michigan, but maybe something like, I don't know, Michigan State, Minnesota, I don't know, but something there that we don't hate each other at the end. We're friendly about it. Um, but we're, we wanna get everyone in it to win it. Um, it's not just a phrase, it's, it's we need people to really take action because competition is critical to motivating people into action. Um, this is the map, and you can see everyone knows we have wards in this town. We actually have six wards. Um, those wards are kind of small, so we've kind of clustered them together. And now we have teams of wards, which are totally cool. So uh, 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 ward two is my, well, ward three is my ward, which is the yellow. And then we've added Jay Peters. Jay, where's Jay? Yeah. Which, I know, it might sound kind of New boring. Furnace. But it's... New furnace. But we're doing this amazing thing where if you get a furnace tune-up and we're measuring it through like all the furnace companies um, between January 1st and March 31st, um, you'll be entered into a competition and you could win a brand new furnace, an energy efficient furnace. Now, here's the thing with a furnace tune-up, that has the potential to save five to 10% off your energy bill. Like that, that little bit. And when we start adding these things up, they make a big difference in our goal against the competition. So uh, we want to see all of that happen. Um, and then again, the prizes, the energy efficient furnace, or a Nest thermostat. Does yeah. anyone know what that is? Yes, yeah. Bob's got one. Yeah, we got some people in here who have them already. Well, let some other people get into this then too, because uh, they are awesome. Um, then we also have sustainability events. So uh, if you didn't see the flyer for the first one, um, that's coming up on this Monday. And that first one is all about getting connected and kind of learning some tips and what you can do to save energy. So it's kind of an early phase right now that you can implement starting January 1st.